Hi guys, Jimmy McIntyre here and welcome to another episode of Photoshop Secrets. Before we begin, I just want to say a big thank you. I'm really pleased to see that my YouTube channel has almost 30,000 followers and my newsletter has almost 70,000 subscribers. So I just want to say a big thank you. And to show you how grateful I am, I want to give everybody some free tools that I just developed which will sharpen and resize your image for the web beautifully. Now I developed these tools for Raya Pro for the next update which will be in June or July and basically they're going to replace the sharpening tools in Raya Pro here. We're going to replace all of these functions with just two buttons, sharpen by width and sharpen by height. So let me show you these tools in action. We basically go to File, Scripts and you can see the tools here, JM Height and JM Width. And to sharpen our image by width, I just choose this one and I decide how wide I want my image. So I'm going to choose 2000 pixels. Now the tool will resize and sharpen the image for us and we'll be left with four layers. The first layer is an unsharpened layer. And I'm just going to zoom in just to show you the effect. The next layer has one level of sharpening. The layer above that has another level of sharpening. And finally, the fourth layer I only use for larger images. And that just adds a serious amount of sharpening to your image, which is way too much for this photo. So as you can see, these two tools are really cool. And Raya Pro users, not only am I going to add these to the panel, I'm going to add some more really cool functions as well, just to make our life a lot easier. But for now, everybody can download these tools on Shutter Evolve. You'll see a link in the description of this video on YouTube that will take you to the post on Shutter Evolve where you can download the tools. Then unzip the file that you download and you'll see some instructions for how to use the tools. But since I like creating tutorials, I'm going to show you how I create the sharpening effect. Now, I'm not doing anything new here. This is a technique that's been used by photographers for a long time. And unfortunately, I can't show you how to create the pop-up box where we put in our width or height because that involves some scripting and that's beyond the scope of these tutorials. So instead, I want you to think of a width or a height that you often use with your images and you can work with that instead. And I encourage you to record this as an action because it does take a little bit of time. So let's begin with the tutorial. To start off with, we have to go to image and duplicate. And we're going to duplicate our workflow into a new window. Now we're going to resize our image, but we're not going to resize to the width or height that we want. We're going to go to image size and instead we're going to take our width or height and multiply it by 1.67. So for example, I want a width of 1000 pixels. So I'm going to multiply that by 1.67 and even I can do that math. So 1670. Once that's done, I just go to bicubic smoother enlargement and press OK. Now we've resized the image. Next, I press Command and J or Control and J to duplicate the background layer and you can name this anything you want. Then I create a mask on this layer, but make sure the layer itself is selected. Now I go to Filter, Sharpen and just press Sharpen once. Now I duplicate this layer again, go to Filter and just choose Sharpen at the top to repeat the process. And you can see we're already adding extra sharpening. And one final time, we duplicate this layer and go to Filter, Sharpen and Sharpen again. Or we could have just done Sharpen there. Now I make this layer invisible. And finally, we go to Image, Image Size, and this time we choose the correct size that we wanted to work with. So I'm going to choose 1000 pixels and just press OK. And now we have our finished sharpened image. So if you're recording this as an action, you can press stop now. And that's it. But really, you don't need to do any of this. You can just download my free tool and have some fun with it that way instead. So once again, thank you all very much for watching my YouTube videos and subscribing to my channel and newsletter. I really appreciate it and I hope that you find these tutorials useful that I create. I certainly enjoy making them and it's great to hear when some people are finding them useful. 
So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.